It is the letter his family had been longing to hold, and at the bottom, Ronnie Biggs' signature, the final sealing of his release. My father shook hands with all the prison guards, and as they all said goodbye, he just went go away. So, you know, it was a pretty special moment. Ronnie Biggs is finally free, but he's still confined to his hospital bed. He has severe pneumonia and can no longer walk or talk. It was his illness that brought him back to Britain and back into custody. And it was eventually his deteriorating health that persuaded Jack Straw to set him free. The letter from the Ministry of Justice reads, The Secretary of State has decided to grant you release on compassionate grounds. A decision not welcomed by some who feel he should still serve his sentence. Whether Biggs is ill, whether he is elderly, whether he is contrite, whether he is contemptuous even, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. These things are irrelevant. They are not the issues on which we should decide whether a man should be released. Ronnie Biggs is unlikely to leave hospital for at least a week. His high living days well behind him. Depending on how long he survives, he's retiring completely from public life. This is not going to be turning into a media circus. You know, there's absolutely no chance of seeing my father dancing in the West End with a couple of girls around him. He won't be driving fast cars or having a great, a, a great time. On the eve of his 80th birthday, there's certainly cause for his family to celebrate. But they also know while Ronnie Biggs has won his freedom, his failing health leaves them with little time to enjoy it.